Hey guys, it's Tegresa and today I'm going to do another different type of video. So basically this is a requested video. So it's again on the GTS 2 Mini. So I have got a lot of requests regarding the screen protectors or the screen guards for this particular watch. So I just uh, uh, just uh, searched Amazon and Flipkart for all those accessories and I basically found out two of these. So so I one I found out the normal screen protectors or the screen guards that you get and this one is the tempered glass so i have both the type of uh, screen protections over here so we'll just try out one of these one by one and i'll let you know which one is better for you to go with so without any further delay let's get started so first of all i have two of these so this one contains basically the uh, normal screen protector so basically i got this for 99 rupees and it's pack of two so i get two of these inside this and this one is uh, the tempered glass specifically made for the GTS 2 Mini and this one cost about 149 Indian rupees and it is only a single quantity. So let's quickly first unbox the normal screen guards and let's try to apply it on our watch. Basically I already have a screen protector which is pre-applied on my watch as you can see. So we'll just simply remove this one and we'll apply these uh, screen protectors or the screen guard from this one first and then we will try out the tempered one so let's quickly open this one this package first so we'll just keep the watch aside for a time being so inside this uh, we get nothing basically this one cost about 99 rupees uh, excluding the shipping because this is not covered under the prime so that's why i have to pay extra for the shipping and we have the standard packaging so not a proper company seal so let's quickly open this one Okay, so we do get uh, two alcohol wipes for wiping uh, the display before installing it and we get two of these. So yeah, initially the quality looks fine. Uh, let's try to keep it on the watch and see if it matches. So yeah, it uh, matches perfectly on the watch. So let's see if it gets a bit uh, bigger than the screen because I'm thinking uh, uh, the size is a bit bigger but let's try to apply it on the watch so get two of these in this packaging so let's quickly take out this one wipe off with the cleaning wipes and let's install one of these on the watch so we have our watch and a screen protector so let me just take it out from the packaging initially the quality looks um, like okay not very good uh, or not very expensive one so we'll just open it yeah this one is the screen protector and it's a flimsy type of one as you can see so it just bends a bit so first of all we have to peel off this before application so i guess this one is the adhesive uh, side so we have to remove this for the adhesive and this one is the final one so we'll just remove the initially applied screen protector it's not initially applied i applied it previously so i'll just remove it so i've just removed the screen protector so i'll just keep it over here Okay, so I have removed the initial screen protector. So we'll just uh, take out the wet wipe first. Basically, these are the alcohol wipes. So it will just uh, remove all the dust and uh, things which are present on the watch. So I'll just wipe out this. So as you can see the watch is completely dust free and the screen is completely free so I'll just now try to apply the screen protector. So this one is the screen protector as you can see and this one is peel off this side before application so I'll just try to align it before. So it should go like this. Yeah it should go like this. So we'll just peel off the first part here. So yeah, now be cautious and uh, apply it over the screen. I guess the size is a bit bigger. So yeah, the size is a bit bigger. So uh, yeah, it did had some screen uh, some bubbles over it so I'll just try to 
get out those bubbles okay okay so it goes perfectly on the screen as you can see let's try to stick it from sides i guess the size is a bit larger so it's not for gts2 mini i guess it might be for the gts2 but the listing was saying that it is for gts2 mini okay so i'll just peel off the top part and yeah it's not completely it's completely covering the display but it is not meant for the gts2 mini but yeah we can certainly paste the screen protector completely and then cut off the extra one extra part that could uh, get our job done so as you can see the final product finished product is quite good i do have a bit of air bubbles over here so i'll just try to get out okay so it did come out so yeah initially the quality of screen protector is very good as you can see it does look quite nice uh, only uh, the round fall is that it is a bit bigger in the size so let's try to just simply cut off the excess part and yeah, as you can see the screen protector is of very good quality and it does not uh, stick to the screen so we do get a quite nice quality of uh, screen uh, protector over here so the fingers does not stick to the screen uh, it easily slides uh, the finger which was not the previous case with my uh, screen protector so this was the previous screen protector and it used to get my finger used to get stuck onto it whenever i to try to swipe uh, on my display but that is not the case with this one so yeah overall it looks quite nice and again it's a very good quality so you can go with it but make sure that it is only for meant for gts2 mini because the listing was showing it's for gts2 mini but i highly doubt it is for gts2 mini because it was a bit oversized for the display so yeah overall a nice quality of the screen protector if you don't want to go with the tempered glass you can definitely go with this one i will just link down for uh, the link in the description for this particular product so you can go and check it out from there as well so now let's try to install the tempered glass and see how does it feel after installing the tempered glass okay so guys uh, we are back with the, the second one so we've already applied the normal screen protector so now let's try out the tempered glass one so i'll just quickly open the packaging from both the sides i'll let's try to open it up and yeah now we do have a good packaging over here so nothing else inside the box so previously it was a simple packaging in case of the normal screen protectors but in case of tempered glass we do have a proper uh, uh, packaging over here as you can see and at the back side we have few specifications and uh, information about the screen protector itself so it is for gts2 mini as you can see black mrp is 499 but you can get it around 149 rupees so i'll just open the box and yeah it's okay so it did fall off nothing else inside the box so yeah these are the things that we get inside the packaging so we do get the dust absorber sticker and we do have the screen protector which is inside this box so let's open this one let's check out the quality first so it, as you can see over here we have the gts2 mini and this one is the screen protector so yeah the initially the quality looks quite nice as you can see and it's uh, let's keep it over the watch and see and yeah guys it's a perfect fit as you can see so it fits perfectly over the display it's not any bigger or any smaller to the display it's completely fits over the display and it looks good almost looks like uh, the original display but uh, yeah so let's try to install this onto the watch and see what difference it makes after installing the tempered glass so let's just keep it aside for a time being and now let's again use the wipes so again you have to use the first one first obviously <laughs> So I'll just remove the previous screen guard a protector which we applied in the previous video. So this one was the previous one and as you can see we just had a cut over here because it was a bit oversized. Anyways no issues. So just use the first alcohol wipe for wiping up the display.
and there are no dust particles over the display make sure that you are again in a clean and dust free room in order to prevent any misinstallation so the device is completely dust free so i'll just wipe it once so now let's take our tempered glass and let's try to install it over the display let me show you the visibility first uh, so before installation the watch used to be like this oh sorry so it used to almost the display is almost over until here as you can see up till here and here so let's now check out how it looks after the installation of tempered glass so we do have here a peel tag as you can see so we'll just remove it I think there are some dust particles under it. Just aligned it. So we'll just put pressure over here. So yeah. So yeah, it did get installed quite nicely, but we do have few air bubbles over here. So I'll just try to push them off. So yeah, almost no bubbles at all and the device looks so good it doesn't you might not even notice that I have applied a screen protector over the display so yeah the quality is really very good we cannot call it as a, a tempered glass because it is not a glass I have just uh, uh, tried to bend it and it was a simple like a uh, flexible plastic uh, like a hard durable plastic so it is not a tempered glass but yeah the screen look quite nice so yeah and even the smoothness is also quite good so my finger does not rub over the display or it does not get any sticky like feeling of or for my finger so yeah the quality is quite nice and everything is working super fine so the palm to uh, sleep is working super fine so no issues with the screen protector so now it's final verdict uh, so whether you should buy this one or you should go with this uh, typical uh, screen protectors ones so if uh, if you ask for my recommendation i would highly uh, suggest you to go with this one because it's not gonna fall off from your display and it's gonna work for about i guess six to seven months without any issues because what happens with this type of one is that when you apply it and if we have any sharp objects then it might scratch up the screen protector and uh, which is uh, easily noticeable on the display of the watch so I'll highly recommend you to go with this one because even if you rub it with your nails there won't be any scratches as of now with the nails but obviously with the sharp object it will eventually have some scratches but yeah for initial purpose 149 rupees for this thing is completely satisfiable uh, unless and until you are using it for a long period of time or you can go with this ones which cost almost 99 rupees for the pack of two so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching